Hey you guys, it's Zenith Dark Sky here with another uh, song reaction, and this time we have question marks <laughs> by Pablo. Shout out to 18 for requesting this song. Um, I know Pablo is from 18, and a lot of you guys were super, super excited to get me to react to this. I know it's a little late, you know, because it's been out for a little bit now. Um, but I had a vacation to go on as many of you know, and I got back and the first thing I'm doing is recording a bunch of stuff So here we are um, Reacting to this. Please do hit that sub button guys if you are watching this part um, Because over 60 to 90 percent of you guys still are not subscribed and it hurts my feelings But either way, thank you guys for watching and supporting though so far. I appreciate you Let's get into this and see what this is all about Pablo's solo Project. Beautiful intro so far. Beautiful intro. Nice and nice easy guitar riff in here. Not really a riff. Um, just sounds like a progression, maybe a chord progression or something. Um, I don't know. Are you going to call it a chord progression? Um, I don't know why that came out. But either way, very, very good intro here. I love that whoever is playing this on guitar is is basically strumming that that top string or you know one of the top two strings there and just letting it ride letting it ride while they while they maybe finger pluck the rest of it or or or, or pluck the rest of it with the pick or, or you know whatever they're doing there very very good sound um it's just a nice intro into the song <laughs> It sounds very rock and roll esque with the guitar, um, letting the letting the slide. You know, they're not editing out the slide on the recording or anything like that. Um, when they're trying to find their place with their fingers on the guitar, it's a very very rock and roll thing to hear. It's something you hear a lot in rock and roll songs, and a lot of pop songs will allow that sound in there too. Sometimes even fake the sound. Not that this is that's what's happening here. But, you know, just to add the flavor, you know, that raw flavor, emotional flavor, it really has me feeling like we're about to, we're, we're in for an emotional song here. Um, either way, let's, let's get into it. Okay, I want to hear him come in because that was a strong way to come in there kind of belting out I really really like again the raw sound of this where it sounds like um, it sounds like he almost sat down with a guitar and Just sang in a room um, Kind of like the video, you know, she kind of sits down with the guitar and just singing in a room Let's the natural reverb in. it doesn't sound like that's that's put in in the studio. It could be I don't know but it sounds really natural, really raw. I love the sound so far. Let me let me hear him come in on that again. Ooh, very nice. really engaging thing to do in songwriting here by asking the audience if they know you know if they, if they if if they know something or engaging the audience directly and maybe that's not what he's doing because i haven't heard the whole song maybe he's talking to a person and asking them if they know anything about what he's feeling 
but it almost feels like he's talking to the audience as well um which is a very engaging thing to do really really gets people emotional and and really feeling whatever your song could be about because they're like you know it gets people to to hear that and be like oh it's talking to me this person's singing to me yeah i do i do know about this feeling you know and engaging so very very cool with the songwriting there not a lot of people do it I, it sounds so good, but but it's not perfect, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I it's 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 on purpose. I'm certain it's on purpose. He wants you to feel the emotion, so he's losing a little bit of control there to convey that emotion instead of a nice clean woo note kind of thing. It's like woo, you know. There's a little bit of shakiness to it. There's emotion to it. Almost it almost gives you the feeling that maybe the person singing this is crying while singing it very good now i will say i'm kind of caught off guard because it said um oh moon are you truly a friend of mine um which is kind of an odd thing to me uh i'm not sure if moon is a reference to a person or if he's actually talking to the moon in a way uh i know that certain words can mean several things in other languages so maybe moon is a metaphor for a certain person or a lover or maybe it's a name i don't know tell me below in the comments down or down below in the comments what is moon right there oh moon you know um i'm very curious because that kind of caught me off guard there beautiful song so far very nice vibrato Ooh. Okay. Very interesting because he's talking about the moon there. He said, oh, moon and, you know, whatever. And then says, if, uh, uh, says, must I really thank you if joy comes around as soon as you leave? Which, even if he's not talking about the actual moon, is very interesting because people view the sun as happiness and joy and and you know enlightenment while people view the moon as dark and depressing and sad but peaceful so it's very interesting to say something about the moon and then say you know what uh what was he said um must i really thank you if joy comes around when you leave when you're gone very interesting this feels like a very metaphorical song so if I don't understand the meaning 100%, tell me below in the comments. Explain to me below in the comments. Sounds so good, though. Ooh, very clean. Very good. very pop punk sounding kind of kind of grit to the vocals there i love that let's hear that again listen how he lets it break he goes up ah, and like lets it break kind of almost like a scream lets that note break up there sounds so good Ooh, lets that rasp in that emotion in the rawness Oh, I like that. I like that that last little bit wasn't raw. It didn't sound like it was raw, but it didn't sound like it just was recorded in a room. That part sounded clean, edited, like it not edited like in a bad way, but like they cleaned it up in a studio. It sounded 
you know, is a very, it almost brought you back to reality. You know, you were hearing and you were with him in this moment and then he brought you back in and say, you know, but here it is. Uh, and the message, you know, like really, really giving us that strong message right there. Just leave. Um, and I'm not sure, again, what he's talking about. I did notice, though, that the video seems very, very significant and metaphorical as well. Um, the time has not changed from 8 p.m. the whole time. So very, very dreamlike, weird video. Very cool stuff, though. Very mysterious. I'm excited to hear more from his solo stuff because... That was very good, very beautiful. Um, almost sound, almost reminded me of Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park. Um, rest in peace, Chester Bennington. Um, very much sounded like there's a song by by Chester Bennington in Lincoln Park called um, "The Messenger," and it very, very much reminded me of that. And in such power and emotion in both of these songs. Uh, if you guys haven't checked that song out, please go check that out uh, if you can for me. Very good stuff. Um, I'm really, I, I you know, I got the general gist of the message, but I'm still curious about parts. So please tell me, tell me down below in the comments. Explain this song to me a little bit. It got me to tear up a little bit, and admittedly. It's a very emotional song. Very good, though. Thank you guys so much for the suggestion. If you have any more suggestions, tell me down below in the comments, as well as, you know, explaining the message to me. Hit that like button if you like the video, if you like the song, and if you like the reaction. Uh, I will very much appreciate it. Share it around so your friends can give their opinions and suggestions as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. See ya.